Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Dean and we've got Scott. But don't just sit there pumpkin pies. Come on, let's get busy. What's Granny Murray got in a shell? You take that out, my darling. Poor Louie's got the cold. I thought it would be nice if we made her a get well card. Clever boys. We're busy today, aren't we? Yeah. Now, we've got Scott and we've got Dean. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rudy. Yes, with Jack. <laughs> Hello there. Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. Uh, and Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing <laughs> cuddle. Come on, my darling. That's the way. Take your coat off. <laughs> now, how's poor Louie? Oh, she's on the mend now. It's been a busy few days though, running up and down the stairs with hot water bottles and cold drinks. Hasn't it, Jack? Yeah. Oh. And have a present for you. Good. Little thank you for the soup you made for Louis. Oh, thank you. They're <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> well, now Jack's here. Why don't we dress Claude up as a flower girl? Yeah. You take those over, my treasure. Oh, over you go, boys. That's the way. And why don't we have a wee seat at our chairs? I've got something to show you. Come on. Uh, oh. Oh, it's good to sit down for a minute, Granny Murray. I hope you're remembering to look after yourself, Rudy. Oh, yeah, it's been hard work, though, looking after Louis and taking care of Jack and running the market stall all week. Oh, I'll bet it has. Oh, here. This is a get well card that the children made for Louis. Oh, wow, fantastic. It's in the shape of a ferry boat. Yeah. <laughs> Will you take it home and give it to her? Oh, my pleasure, Granny Murray. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> maybe not. What's in there, Rudy? Oh, dirty washing. On top of everything else, the washing machine's broke. So I've got to drop all of this off at the laundress on the way to the market. Oh, don't you be daft. Here, I'll do it for you. Oh, thanks very much, Granny Murray. Hey, listen, I'll owe you one. Oh, now, just you remember to look after yourself. <laughs> of course. Oh, you should see Claude. He looks gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, you should see the hat he's wearing. Ooh la la, Claude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we can't have a flower girl without any flowers. There, that's better. What? <gasps> Isn't that for me? What yes. is it? It's a wee nurse. <gasps> a little plastic nurse. To remind me that I've been playing nurse all week. Brilliant. I'll pop that in my pocket. Right, give us a cuddle. <laughs> see you later, champ. See you later, guys. Come on, Bye-bye. Bye. Now remember, don't forget to look after yourself. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? 
Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work <laughs> Dressed and ready to go. Right, what we got here? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I can't believe how low I've let my stock get. Morning, Rudy. Oh, hey, Chuck. How are you doing? Oh, I'm missing Louie. How is she? She's much better, thanks. You should go and see her, though. Dr. Juno says she's well enough for visitors now. OK, I will. Um, I'll take her some grapes. Oh, grapes. There we go. And, hey, you should take her some pears. She loves juicy, juicy ripe pears. <laughs> And, and oranges for you. There you go. Oh, Rudy, you hardly have any left. But oranges, they're full of vitamin C. Stop you getting a nasty cold. Can't have you ill too. <laughs> hey, have a banana. Oh, Rudy. <laughs> go on, I know they're your favourite. There you go. Oh, you won't make any money if you give all your fruit away. Oh, but come on. Who needs money when you've got friends? Oh, thanks, Rudy. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Oh, give Louis a kiss from me. <laughs> oh, wonder how my little boy's doing. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingo, Riversy Bingo, that's for me. Here we are. Oh, Jack, are you doing a washing as yes. well? <laughs> Good boy. Well, there's Dad's washing drying nicely on the line. Okay, then this washing's. Good boy. Very busy. Oh, oh, I almost forgot to put that powder in. Are you having fun, Daddy? Hey, Dr. J. Hi, Rudy. <laughs> I hope you haven't caught Lewis coughing cold. Oh, no. I've been looking after myself, thank you very much. I don't know what we would have done without all your advice. I only told Louie to keep warm, drink lots of liquid and stay in bed. Oh, I know, but she listens to you. After all, you are the doctor. You do know what's best for her. Here, have a bag of kiwi fruit. Keep your strength up. I can't go taking your fruit, Rudy. Oh, sure you can, Doc. I know you doctors are always rushing about. I bet you haven't even stopped for anything to eat today. Well, I did have a slice of toast this morning. A slice of toast? It's a wonder you've even got the strength to cycle to the Harlequin Hospital. Here. Have a cauliflower. Hang on, Rudy. I may be the doctor, but you were the nurse, so was little Jack. I hope you two are eating properly. Our favourite meal at the moment is strawberry ice cream on toast. Mmm. Yuck. I'll pop in and see Louie later on. Brilliant. Give her a hug from me. Thank you. I will. See you later. Bye-bye, Doc. Ah, oh, right. I better stop me chatting. Get on with some serious work. And dooby dooby doo. I make it look easy What I do be do be do And what I do is sell to you and you and you All of the veggies for a stew But it's more than meets the eye What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat and the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hi, Rudy. Hey, hello, <laughs> Tina. Oh, Granny Murray has sent me on a special errand. Oh, my laundry. Thanks so much for bringing it round, Tina. 
Hey, let me give you some new potatoes in exchange for my laundry. Oh, no, Rudy, it's OK. I was passing you anyway. No, no, it's OK. They're just... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I appear to have run out of potatoes. I know, Tina. Why don't you take some tomato? Oh, I I've, I've just appeared to have one of them, to be honest. Um, but you can have it, Tina. Oh, Rudy, you can't afford to go giving stuff away. I've never seen your stall so low. I know, but I've been so busy looking after Louie all week, <laughs> I forgot to order. Look, if ever you need a hand, call me and I'll whiz over straight away. Oh, thanks, Tina. Bye, Rudy. Bye-bye. Oh, I hope Jack's looking after himself today. <laughs> I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> yes, Liz, we please. What's happened? Rah, come back to me. You're a big monster. I'm going to eat you for my tea. I'm going to eat you. Rah. Oh, hi, Rudy. Hello, Bobby. Oh. You been out for a jog again? Yeah, just warming <laughs> down. <laughs> Gotta keep fit. <laughs> right, can I have one cabbage, please? Hey, I'm gonna make a big pan of cabbage. Maybe I could take some round to Louie if she's still feeling poorly. That's really kind of you, Bobby, but I think she's over the worst now. Right, cabbage. Oh, you know, I don't seem to have any cabbages left, I'm afraid. Oh, well, never mind. Um, have you got a big bunch of bananas? Righty-o. Oh, I don't seem to... Have any bananas left either? In fact, well, I haven't got much of anything left to be honest. Okay, well, I'll pop back later on when you've had a chance to stock up. Okay. Bye. Well, see you later, Bobs. I, I've, I've got nothing left to sell. How could I let me customers down like this? What have I been doing all day? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Jack at Granny Murray's. The children have made Louis a get well ferry boat card covered in kisses. Granny Murray said I've got too much to do and she would do my washing for me. Jack gave me a little plastic nurse to remind me how much I've been playing nurse all week. At seven o'clock I opened my stall and my first customer was Chuck. She said she'd call in on Louie, so I gave her some grapes and purse to take to her. At nine o'clock Dr Juno dropped by to see how Louie was. I gave her a cauliflower and some kiwi fruit, a thank you present for all of her good advice. At 12 o'clock, Tina arrived in her taxi. She brought the washing that Granny Murray had done for me. I wanted to give Tina a thank you present for being so kind, but there wasn't much to give her. At 1 o'clock, when Bobby came to buy fruit and vegetables, there was hardly anything left on my stall. Not even a banana. Now remember, don't forget to look after yourself. Don't forget to look after yourself. Of course, I've been too busy looking after Louis. I forgot to look after myself and restock the stall. I need help. I'd best give Tina a call, <laughs> but it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. <laughs> My goodness, Rudy, you've certainly stocked up since this morning. Oh, I know, Bobby. I've got loads to sell now. <laughs> Actually, Rudy, there's somebody ahead of me in the queue. Somebody who's looking a lot better. Hi, Rudy. Louie, what are you doing out of bed? Don't worry. Dr Juno popped in to see me and she advised me to get a breath of fresh air. She said it would do me good after I was stuck indoors all week. Oh, well, it's great to see you up and about. And I've got my appetite back too. I thought I'd make us all big cheesy potatoes for tea. You looked after me, Rudy. Now I'm going to look after you. <laughs> <laughs> and we both know who's looking after Jack, don't we? Could I have a cauliflower, please? Cauliflower, right. <laughs> a well is a cabbage. A cabbage, that's the one I want. I'll take that. Thank you. Could I have um, 
Some apples, please. Three <laughs> apples, please. Okay, I've got three apples. Thank you very much. How much? That's three pounds, please. Three pounds? There we are, my darling. <laughs> Have you had a busy day on your stall? Oh, yes, it's been a busy day. I wonder if your dad's had as busy a day as you. I think so. Do you think so? <laughs> Come away in. So good to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah, we yeah. certainly did. <laughs> Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, a pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Don't forget to look after yourself. And it saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Hey, come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a flower girl because Rudy arrived with some flowers for me. Rudy's been looking after Louie who's had a bad cough and cold. The children made her a gorgeous get well card. While I hung Rudy's clean washing on the line to dry, Jack played with the laundry set. Then Jack and I played a brilliant tickle game. <laughs> oh, we laughed ourselves silly. Tina took Rudy's clean washing to the market in her taxi. And Jack and I stocked up our toy market stall with lots of delicious fruit and vegetables. And while we were doing that, Rudy was doing the same and stocking up his market stall too. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to sip and Down to the city, Listen. where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call 